<laughs> Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today I will show you what polynomials are. Well, you can see that it has minus 5. Minus 5 is not a positive integer, it's a negative integer. It has to be a non negative integer. Okay, now let me show you three more things. So now I hope you all learned what polynomial, trinomial, bi uh, binomial, and monomials are. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today I will show you what polynomials are. But before I show you what they are, let me say this. Poly here is actually a word in Greek, which means many. All right? And nomial here is actually a word in Latin, which means names. But in the mathematical way, we actually say many terms. Okay? So polynomials actually mean many terms. And it does really, they are really many terms, and you will see why when I give you the equation. But let me write an equation first. Let's say, for example, we have 10x to the power minus 5, and then maybe plus 9x minus 3x squared plus, let's say, 33. Now, this is actually not a polynomial. So why is this not a polynomial? Because it, if, if it has to be a polynomial, it has to be, for example, like a x to the power, let's say, b. Now, here a is our coefficient that is multiplied with our variable. And the power that is on top of the variable has to be a non-negative, non-neg, sorry, non-negative integer. Now, why does it have to be a non-negative integer? Because otherwise, it wouldn't be a polynomial. Here, for example, you can see that it has minus 5. Minus 5 is not a positive integer, it's a negative integer. It has to be a non-negative integer. Okay, let me give you two more examples of what are not polynomials. Let's say we have 9x to the power half plus 3. This is also not a polynomial because the power here is not an integer, it's a fraction. It has to be a whole number, which is also an integer. Another example of what is not a polynomial is, let's say, um, 6x to the power a plus 23, or sorry, minus 23, let's say. Just an example, all right? This is also not a polynomial because the power here is a variable. It actually has to be an integer, basically a real number. But this it here is a variable. So that's why we cannot hold these three as polynomials. Okay, now let me show you what a real polynomial does look like. Now I'm going to write you an example. Let's say for example, we have 20, oh, 23, x to the power 5 uh, minus 9x to the power 6 and let's say mine uh, plus 3x and then plus 17 right let's say this is our uh, our equation now this is actually a polynomial why because all of the numbers here are actually actually um, have non-negative integers. Now, even though these two don't have any power, they're still pretty much zero, so that's not negative. Here, x to the power six. Six is non-negative, so that's also a polynomial. And here, x to the power five. Five is also a non-negative integer, which is also why it is a polynomial. Now, I'm going to show you how to figure out the degree from this polynomial. Now, to figure out the degree, we have to 
see which power out of all the four of these are the highest. Now you could say that there is a zero on top of this one and there's an x to the power of zero next to this one. But beside that, these two, which one is the highest? What do you think? Well, if you said that minus x to the power of six, minus nine x to the power of six is the highest, you are correct. Because here, the to the power of six is greater than to the power of five. Now let me show you three more things. Okay, so first I'm going, this is a polynomial, but I'm going to show you a trinomial. A trinomial is when there is three of these numbers. So let's say, for example, we have 19, oh, let me write it bigger. 19x to the power 3 minus 5x plus 7. This is a trinomial. Three numbers. So this is a trinomial. Right. So what is the name of one with two numbers? That is a binomial. An example of a binomial is, let's say, 3x to the power 5 minus 2. This is a binomial. Binomial. Okay. And what is one with one number only? That is a monomial. So a monomial, example of a monomial, would be 12x squared. This is a monomial. Monomial. So now I hope you all learned what polynomial, trinomial, bi uh, binomial, and monomials are. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.